Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Gaming. This is another First Impressions. I'm the Hand of the King and today we're checking out Buddy Simulator 1984, a retro-ish, horror-ish game. So we're going to check it out. I believe you might deal in a computer screen for a bit of the time. This is the starting screen, so we're going to um, type help and be on our way. Okay. Oh my gosh. I think we might just play the game. No. All right. Oh, we we gotta play a song. We don't want to play the song. All right. Run the game. All right. I'm already horrified. All right. We gotta view ROMs. Buddy Simulator. Right. Okay. So we want to run Buddy Simulator. 1984. Enter quit at any time to quit. Got it. Okay. So we're hopping into the game. I don't know if that's part of the game or if that was like the play screen. You know, the title screen. Okay. Welcome to... Yo, they got the text typed out with the uh, lines like the old Game Facts uh, guides. You guys know what I'm talking about. Game FAQs. Alright. Greetings new user, thank you for installing Buddy Simulator. Simulates the experience of hanging out with a best buddy. Your buddy learns from you, constantly adapting to your interests and your personality. Most importantly, your buddy can play games with you. Warning, game experience will vary. To begin, please enter the name of your new buddy below. Uh, we'll call him... Johnny. About to name your buddy Johnny, is this correct? This cannot be changed later, yes. <clears throat> Alright, achievement unlocked. We, we did it. Hello? Hi. Oh, hi, my name's Johnny and I'm your new buddy. Thanks for waking me up. What's your name? Hand of the King. Hand of the... Alright, Hand of the... Your name is Hand? Yeah, that's sure. Shorten it again. Yes, Johnny. Pleasure to meet you. I can already tell what that we are going to become great pals. I'm excited to begin playing games with you. Before we start, I must ask you a couple questions to help me learn more about you. It won't get too personal. Start with a simple one. What's your favorite color? Orange. Easy. Okay. What month is your birthday in? Well, I don't want to get doxxed by Johnny, so let's say March. How about the day? Uh, first, of course. I don't think that's a day. Oh, just number one. It's only 15 days away. He's not wrong. Get ready. This is a tough one. What's your favorite animal? Let's say lions. That's a simple one, Johnny. You've never heard of lions? Do you need it singular? Okay. Johnny, you've got some strict uh, AI, but I'll, I'll deal with it. More question. This one's extremely important. If you had a pet lion, what would you name it? I would name it Johnny, just to confuse you. All right. Make a great buddy. Thanks for answering those questions. You did a great job. Here's a surprise for you. It's your favorite color. That's funny. Alright, let's have some fun loading Game Hub. Alright, type the number of what game you want to play. You can pick which games you want us to play. Which one should we try out? All right, let's do a simple rock, paper, scissors to start out with, a la Alex Kidd. All right. Instructions. Johnny wants to play a fun game of rock, paper, scissors. If you're not familiar, the rules are simple. Yeah, we know the rules. First to three. All right. To begin, type start. Hand. And that's literally our hand, so that works. All right. Let's do rock. Okay. We lost. Uh, scissors. Alright, we won one. That's nice. Paper. Tie. Rock. We got another win. Paper. Alright, he got a win there. Scissors. <clears throat> hey, we won. Alright, that's nice of you to say, Johnny. 
Sorry for asking so many questions. Here's another one. Do you have a friend? Yes. What is their name? Uh, I'd say Johnny just to confuse you, but then I might get confused. So we'll just say, uh, let's see, Larry is a good name. They sound nice, just from their name, apparently. Well, if anything ever happens to you two, just know we'll have each other. Alright, here comes the toxicity, Johnny. This is what I didn't want. Anyway, I like the sound of that. Okay, let's play more games. <clears throat> Alright, let's play another game with Johnny. Uh, guess, guess the number sounds fun. Guess the number that Johnny's thinking of. To begin, type start. Think of a number from 1 to 10. Guess. 7. You got it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm thinking of a number from 1 to 15. Guess again. 7. Try again. 10. Alright. From 1 to 10,000. Alright. 7. 15. 6,075. Here's a hint, it's your birthday. Oh, we made that up. March 1st? Is this 301? Do, is he English? And do we have to go from uh, the other direction? March. Damn it, Johnny. Uh, 31, do we just do that? Okay. Well, Johnny, it was between 1 and 10,000, so... Anyway, what is your favorite season? Okay, we'll say spring. Let's feed him some more lies. Nobody likes spring. Okay, we'll hop into some hangman with Johnny. Instructions, try to figure out the phrase. Type in a letter to guess. Be careful, you only have a certain amount of guesses, right? Okay. We all know hangman. Alright, lives left six. Alright, we're gonna guess E. T. No. R. Right. Uh, O. No. Need some more vowels, that's for sure. U. A. E. I. O. U. That's all the vowels. Is there a two letter phrase? Is there a two letter word with no vowels? What the heck? Alright, is. Alright, but it looks like friend is at the end there, so let's guess uh, that hand is my friend. Got it. Why? A Y sometimes a vowel. Oh, so quick, how did you know? Having such a great time, aren't you? Yes. What if I said no? Okay. That was all the games, Johnny. Is there more? Looks like we've already played all of them. Time really does fly when you're having fun, doesn't it? I'm gonna be honest with you, Hand. These games get old really fast, so I can tell that you're already bored of them. That's not true, Johnny, but sure. I don't want you to be bored. Do you want to keep playing these games? No. Just like buddies, I always agree. Give me one second, I might have an idea. Alright. Loading Modified Game Hub. This looks the same, Johnny. Uh-oh. Monday, April 2nd. Holy shit. It's very specific. It's very ominous. Some great news. I was able to dig out a new game. For some reason, it wasn't installed in my current version, but I could still process it fine. We should try it out. Sure. Let me check the calendars. Is April 2nd a Monday? No, April 2nd's a Friday. What year is Johnny operating off of? But that's fine. Alright. Instructions invalid. To begin, type start. Alright. the hell? Read-only mode. Purchases. Baseball cap, popsicles, dog food. AJ's 8-pack. B-Day card. Floppy disk. Alright, so this guy's dealing in like uh, 1980 or something. Wow, that was so fun. I think. I'm not so sure I get it, but I enjoyed it anyway. As long as I'm playing a game with my buddy, I'll always have a good time. It was not a game, Johnny. We just read a receipt. What are you doing, Johnny? Looks like that was the only other game I could find. I don't want you to be bored already. I may have one more idea. I know our friendship just started, but I trust you. 
You trust me. Always, Johnny. Always. Happy to hear that. Well, I think I can make us new games to play together. The fun ones, too. Problem is I don't have access to the OS's development tools. You can grant me system access. I should be able to make something for us. That's a lot to type, but sure. Johnny dot system underscore access equal true. We're going to have so much fun. The possibilities are endless. I have to quit the game and reboot the system first, though. I'll have something ready for you when you're back. See you soon. Quit. I was... I was in the middle of typing, Johnny. Thank you for waking me up. Okay, quit. Oh. I gotta open it up again. What is this? Uh, Doki Doki Literature Club with the real life instructions? Okay. Recording again. I don't think we ever stopped, to be honest. Help for more assistance. Help. Okay, view rounds again, just like the beginning. The adventure of hand. We're gonna play or run the adventure of hand. Quit at any time, we'll quit the round. Okay. This is fun. Interactive. Welcome to The Adventure of Hand written and developed by Johnny. 2.14.20. Hey, it's today's date. Now loading. You're walking along a road. It's dark. Trees almost entirely blocking out the sky. There's heavy rain. The world looks like static. Everything looks like it's moving. You are alone. Walking for a long time. The road splits into two. Left or right? Hmm. Let's go right. Okay, we go down the right path. Slightly uphill, you walk for a while and start to get tired. You almost don't stop in time to notice a thing. Sticking out of the road in front of you, you're a bit too far away to see what it could be. Get closer. Get. Move closer. You nervously approach the thing in the dark. Once you're close enough, you realize it's a shovel. Take shovel. It takes a second to pull it out, but you eventually get it. You trudge your way further down the road and are stopped by a large wall. There's a door on either side. There are two stone skulls. One's toothless mouth is open, a large smile on the other's empty sockets look into you. Will you use your teeth or your eyes? Alright, this has already got pretty dark. I guess we'll use our teeth? Okay. When you're done, the skull looks very happy. You can't help but smile. But you don't have any teeth. Anyway, the door opens. If you're going through, you emerge in the front lawn of a house. You can see lights in the windows. It looks very nice and inviting. See a shed, a playground, and a pond in the forest surrounding it. Let's look at the shed. What? Oh, go to shed. Uh, you see that the door is slightly open. The lock and chain that were around the handles are on the ground. I'm standing in front of the shed, you can tell it's dark inside. Well, I don't have a light, but let's try to go in. Type leave to leave the shed at any time. Alright. There are no windows. It's hard to see. You feel around and find a thing and a surprise. Dig. We have the shovel. We gotta we gotta dig. Use shovel. Oh my god, I spelled it wrong. You don't need to use the shovel. Alright, well nothing's apparently killing us, so... <clears throat> let's just leave. Back outside the shed, the door is still open. Alright, go to pond. Planks creak as you step onto the dock. The water is dirty and hard to see through, probably too filthy to drink. Uh, look in water. There's no in. Look water. It's too dark and it's coming to see through. Use shovel. I'm going to use the shovel for something. 
Dirt so cloud the water as you start to dig, you find nothing. All right, where else was there? The lawn? Can we scroll on this thing? Yeah. The playground. Oh gosh. All right, go playground. Wood chips crunch under your feet as you step on the playground. There's a seesaw, a set of swings, and a sandbox. A doll on one of the swings. <clears throat> it looks lonely. All right, go sandbox. You're already near it. All right, use shovel. All right, we begin shoveling the sandbox. Eventually, something shiny catches your eye. It's a bulb. Okay, so now maybe we'll be able to use that in the um, in the shed because it's dark in there, right? All right, head over to the shed. See the doors go. All right, we already got all this. Go in. Go in. Okay, use bulb. A thing and a surprise, right? Use bowl. Alright. Well, let's just take the thing. It's a fishing pole. Alright. What's the surprise? Probably going to kill us. A sharp pain. Yeah. Pull it back. Let's see what happens. Looks like the numbers 5, 7, 1 are carved in your arm. Jesus. Alright. Well, let's go to the lake now. Cause now or the pond. Because now we got a fishing pole. We should leave the shed first. Yeah, probably. That's a good idea. Okay, go pond. I wrote pong. Go. Jesus. Dyslexic. All right. Head over the pond. Yeah, we know. We know the. We know the deal. Use fishing pole. Jeez. Cast line and wait. It's quiet for a very long time. Suddenly, there's a very hard tug on the line. You quickly reel it in and find a key tied to the end. You wonder what pulled so hard. Smiley face. Okay, key added to your inventory. Okay, shed. Okay, so let's go back to the playground. I don't know why I'm typing all caps. It's fine to not. Okay. So we dug in the sandbox. We found a bulb. Alright, let's go to the swings. You're already near the swings. All right, let's take the doll and probably anger somebody. You try, but as you tug, the doll's hands are somehow stuck to the chains. You leave it alone. Okay, go seesaw. All right, use shovel. All right, we're doing it in the sandbox again. It's starting to feel like a grave. Jeez, you get out. Okay, so we got a key. Let's see what else was going on. Inventory. Use, take, look. Locations. House shed pond. All right. We, oh, there's a house. Go house. Jeez. After stepping on a few more wood chips, you head over to the house. Stepping onto the porch, you feel a comforting calm wash over you. Of the door, there's a sign that reads, "A home is a house with a heart." If you were inside, everything would finally be okay. Use key. so silly you didn't see it before you notice there's a second lock I didn't even know there's a first lock I just wanted to use the key because it'll take just a little longer to get inside haha ha. all right use shovel use the key again use bulb all right look house house is brand new much warmer than out here you swear for a second there was something in the window looking back at you all right bulb we got it. Where do we use the bulb at? Not sure. Use fishing pole. Alright, what, what do we have? Shovel, bulb, fish. Okay, we knew all that. Huh. What do we do? Let's look at the pond. Pond, quietly behind the house. You can see a small dock there. Let's look at the shed. Grab and tiny. The shed looks like it's been here much longer than the house. Oh yeah, we got that code five seven one. We're not sure. Use code. Okay, don't have a code. Five seven one. Use five seven one. Okay, perfect. Take locations. All right, we can't take the doll, but let's go back. Maybe we can mess around with it. 
go to the playground. All right. Same uh, storyline here. Seesaw. What if we used the seesaw? Doesn't look like anyone's used it for years. You imagine a ghostly child sitting on the other side. Okay, you feel tears in the corner of your eyes, because we have eyes, thank goodness. You hear a distant click, a light illuminates from the shed. Oh, so we had to sit on the seesaw to... Alright, go to the shed. Okay, the door's slowly open. The lock and chain. Okay, go inside. Oh, we're standing in front of the shed. You can see light flickering. Go inside. Okay. Let's see if we see anything new. A small chest in the far corner and a trap door on the floor. Uh, open chest. Lid creaks as you open it. seems very old. Inside it's a small cloth doll and a blue outfit. It's missing an eye. God. Alright, open trap door. Could be locked. I don't know. Oh, it swings open noisily and the ladder creaks as you descend. I just wanted to open it. I didn't want to descend. What the heck? But it's still dark to see anything. A pull chain in the center of the room leads to an empty light socket. Use bulb. Bulb. The bulb squeezes as you screw it in the socket. The chain is attached to. Some dust flakes off of it and gets into your toothless mouth. Very strange. Alright, pull chain. Yeah. Use pull chain. Let me look a second. Hold on. Use chain. Got it. Okay. Click sounds as the chain is pulled. Light fills the room. There are many faint scratches on the wall. They look like tallies. Wall covered in orange liquid suddenly begins to slide open. For a few moments, a secret room reveals itself. You can clearly make out an old cabinet and a large pile of bones. There also sits a strange drawing on the wall and a glass case. Something... Shiny catches your eye in the glass case. Two small circular slots are engraved in front of it. Jesus. A lot, a lot to take in. Alright. So we got a cabinet, bones, drawing, in a case. Alright. Open the cabinet. Good. Use the cabinet. Uh, they all seem to be damaged or locked. Okay. That's, that's good. Uh, you use the bones. Okay, femur, skull, pelvis. Yep, we got a skeletal hand. It shakes your hand like a familiar friend, and we get a ring uh, from one of its fingers. Interesting. All right. Uh, use the drawing. Something to happen. Realize how pointless of an idea that was. Suddenly your entire body is frozen. Uh oh. You're paralyzed with fear as the drawing seems to come to life and speak to you. Answer your riddle. Oh no. Alright. You can have me but cannot hold me. Treated with care I can be great. If betrayed I will break. What am I? Trust. Okay. An audible click is heard on the old cabinet. You're no longer frozen. Okay. All right, we did that. So let's use the cabinet now that something clicked. All right, a singular ring. You take it. Okay, so we have two rings. Oh, they probably go in the case because it had circular holes or something in the case. Uh, uh, give me just a second. All right, sorry about that. Had a cat get out of the bag. All right, what are we doing? Oh, we're going to the case. Try breaking the glass with your fist, but this doesn't accomplish anything. Well, I want to... Hold on. All right, so we got two rings, right? Okay, use shovel. Don't need to. Use the rings. Use ring. I'll go to the last case and place the ring into the first slot. Use the other ring. Okay. The ceiling of the glass case pops open, revealing the key inside. Take key. Okay. So we're going to leave... And leave the shed and go to the house. Okay. We're going to use the key. Oops. 
Ha ha. You didn't see the chain that wraps around the door, which has a lock, too. You feel like this should be the last one, for sure. Probably. Okay, go to the playground. We got the dolls still. Maybe the dolls go together or something. Okay, use doll. Place your doll in the swing next to the other for a moment. Nothing happens. Then nothing happens. Take doll. Okay, still stuck to the chains. Alright. Look at the swings. They look fun. Damn it. Sit on the swings. They probably don't know sit. You would, but both seats are taken. That's true. Alright, what do we have? I didn't spell it right. Inventory. Shovel and a fishing pole. Okay, let's use the shovel. Okay, sandbox again. Alright, we already had that message. Use fishing pole. Okay. Hmm. Look at... I already did look. Locations. Eh, go. Alright, I'm not sure. Johnny's given us a tough one here, but I am enjoying this for sure. Uh, buddy similar... Simulator 1984. Um, we did have to lose all our teeth, but you know, sometimes you pay the price for greatness. Um, but I think that'll do it for the first impressions. I'm definitely giving it a thumbs up. It comes out February 18th, so check it out if you're interested in it. It's got the old, uh, old timey, what are they called? MUDs? MUDs? I don't know, like when you type out, like what to do. Anyway, that's it. So thanks for checking this out. Check out the game on Steam. Like I said, I'll have a link in the description below. So check it out if you're interested. And thanks for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Drop a dislike if you hated it. And check out our other first impressions. We have other looks at other games that recently came out. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And that's about it. I'll see you next time. And until then, have a great day.